Hey boys, it's Harm Nan. Today we're heading over to the LS car meet to test out the brand new Uber mocked Cypher in Grand Theft Auto Online. It's just been added to the test track. You cannot buy it yet. It comes out next week just for the people who I know are about to comment. It will come out with the update week next week. I'm really excited to test this thing out. I haven't, uh, I haven't really seen too much of it other than in the trailer. So uh, I don't know, should be cool. And uh, we're gonna see we're gonna see how it performs, and uh, I'll give you guys my review on it. All right, guys. So we are kind of close to it. It's uh, oh, it's right over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It does look very, very cool. Yeah, that thing's uh, that thing's pretty mean looking. Well, let's hop inside and uh, let's test it out. It sounds good. I feel like it's gonna sound good. Let's see. All right, we're gonna do a sound test first of all before I even say anything else about the car. Okay, so yeah, it, it sounds pretty incredible. It's uh, yeah, you know, it's it's, it's good. Uh, I have a feeling it's rear wheel drive only. Let's actually just test that super quick. Yes, it is rear wheel drive only. Okay, cool. So based off of the looks, I am getting M2 vibes from this thing. So I think it's based off of BMW M2. Um, obviously, while I'm testing it here, it has absolutely no upgrades done to it uh, because I can't, obviously. So we're going to see how it performs stock. And uh, I just got surprised by the Karen Sultan RS Classic. Uh, I thought that it was going to be trash once I drove it in here, but I just did my customization and my review on it. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. That thing just may be the new, uh, the new quickest car from the update. So you never know. So far, this thing does feel really well like balanced. It doesn't seem to, uh, it kind of understeers a little tiny bit. I think with suspension mods to this thing, I think that will probably fix it. Um, and maybe a spoiler too. That would definitely help. Um, it sounds amazing though. Just kind of went off the track, my bad. It does just sound really good though. And yeah, the, the handling's pretty good. Uh, definitely suspension upgrades are gonna, are gonna play a part in this car, I feel like. But it does look like it's going to have some really cool customization that we can do to it. So I'm definitely looking forward to, uh, you know, it releasing next week and actually getting a customization done of this thing. Because I feel like uh, I feel like it's been a long time since we've got, you know, a new BMW car in the game. I mean, obviously, like the one that I can think of right off the bat is like the Sentinel Classic or the Xeon Classic. Uh, but those are older cars, so this is like the first modern Uber mocked we've got in the game in some time, I want to say. So it's uh, it's definitely good to see, that's for sure. I would have loved to see maybe a four-door version of this thing, like an M3 four-door. That would be really cool. But uh, you know what? This thing this thing will do the trick for sure. Um, yeah, overall, guys, it's, uh, it's definitely going to be a lot better with upgrades. That's what I'm going to say. Um, it, it doesn't feel necessarily bad right now or anything, but... It definitely will be better with upgrades. I can I can assure you of that. And obviously that's, you know, pretty obvious. That's what happens with, you know, every car pretty much. So anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this. Uh, overall, yeah, I like the car. Definitely going to be picking it up when it comes out next week. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this, if you learned something, leave a like, if not dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.